be a part of your life. It will never be associated with you. Fear not. Who say fear not? You will know very shortly. The one who gives authority. The one who speaks in authority. The one when he speaks everything he speaks, he comes into existence. You must believe every word he says. Because every word will change you. Fear not, you will no longer be in shame. Fear not, they will not ask who is your God because they will see your Our God is about to show up. Our God is about to show off. Our God is about to be seen. He's Jehovah Bel Perazim. He's the one who invades. He kicks doors open. He kicks windows open. He is Bel Perazim. He's the one who said you will no longer be in shame. You've been in shame for your life. Every day you've been afraid. But he's saying fear not. Who's saying fear not? He's the one who said to the storm. Shh. Sit down. Sit down. You are fruitful now. It's another season. It's a season of glory. Within three months, you're going to replenish. You're going to multiply. You're going to subdue. You're going to dominate. You're going to rule. You will be heard. You will be seen. You will no longer be in shame. You have walked in shame. You've been living in shame. You've been living in sorrow. People were mean to you. But this time around, somebody is saying, You will no longer. 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 Whatever he says, just believe. Whatever he says, just receive. You will no longer be in shame. Sit down. I'm talking to you this morning. Your life will never be the same. He's saying, you will no longer live in shame. Don't be afraid. Therefore, there is no more disgrace for you. No longer. No longer. There, will, there is no more disgrace. Anyone want to put me in shame? There is no longer. There is no longer. Why? There is no longer. There is no longer. It doesn't exist where I am. You might want it. It will turn into goodness. The one who digs the pity for me, he will fall into it. The one who gathers the stones for me, they will hit him because there is no more disgrace you can't put me down I will bounce like a tennis ball and go up no more 
great disgrace. No more disgrace. No more disgrace. Whatever you try to do. Whatever you try to do. To me. There is no more. Yes, no more. There are no more. No more. No more. No more. Say no more. No more death. 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 No more poverty. No more poverty. No more sickness. No more witches. No more wizards. No more death. No more going down. No more losing job. No more crying. No more depression. No more stress. No more fear. That settles it. When the Lord says it, everything is settled. Who says so? Who says so? Just stick around, you'll hear. It's not a mere human being. It's not a mere human being who says what he's saying. He's the he's my God who says so. Listen. He says, You will no longer remember the shame of your youth. You will no longer. You will have amnesia. Uzoma no Somebody is going to have amnesia. So when you have amnesia, that means you will have no grudges. You will hold no grudges because you have amnesia. How can you have grudges if you can't remember what happened in your youth? You will never remember the shame of your youth. You see, when you see everything that is negative that have happened in our lives, it's a shame. You are sick when you are born again. You are not working, but your God is your Father. You are still renting whilst you have your God as your Creator. That's a shame. You don't have children when you are born again and you are married. That's a shame. You are not prospering, but your God is your 
great God. But in those who worship ancestors, they are flourishing. Those who use charms, they are flourishing. But you live a holy life. You have no marriage. That's a shame. That's a sorrowful shame. But somebody's changing history today. The singers, they are saying that you are making history. Have you heard a song like that? So your creator is making history. Is making history. He's telling you. You will no longer remember the shame of your youth. You, in other words, I'm paraphrasing it. You will no longer. It means you will have amnesia. Who, who rejected me? You will not remember. Who owes me? You will not remember. <laughs> This amnesia has been given permission by your God because he's starting a new era for your life. He is starting a new era in your life. He says you will no longer remember the shame of your youth. You will have amnesia. In other words, for your past, he, he's doing... <laughs> I wanted to use a big word. For your past, he's doing euthanasia. euthanasia. You know what is euthanasia? Do you know what is a euthanasia? When you are killing someone, Yes. Hmm? So, when they are causing a person to rest, they do a euthanasia so that they will release that individual. Professional. Professional. It is being done so, by doctors. Now, pastor. God is doing the euthanasia. It will no longer exist. It will no longer live. Because even no even if he was not past, you will remember it. He must, as he is doing a euthanasia, and even in you, he is doing the amnesia. I believe that you want a euthanasia, a euthanasia, and amnesia. amnesia. Thank you. Hey. Mm. You won't remember how he has abused you when he comes. It will be like it's the first time meeting him. <laughs> When father win you in, you are being put uh, into the new era. Era. You don't have grudges because you don't remember anything. The shame of your youth, you don't remember it. Thank you. Who's saying that? This person is speaking. You will no longer remember the shame of your youth. He says, and the sorrows of your widow. There are those who have lost. 
they have lost the important things and they have seen themselves nothing they have lost they have lost things but the Lord is saying no you will not remember even if you like it you will not I will cause you I will cause amnesia even if you like you will no longer you will no longer remember even if you ask the Holy Spirit remind me if you ask the devil to remind you you see, when you delete some files, they go to a recycle bin. But when you go to a recycle bin and delete it, you will no longer find and it. So a euthanasia, Get a euthanasia. Oh, 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 amnesia. E amnesia. It's where you delete the file e from file. the folder or the folder, the folder itself. E folder. They go to recycle bin. Why it is a recycle bin? It means you can resuscitate and bring it back. So some of us they have deleted some folders and they went deleted. to recycle bin. Asaya go recycle bin. When you are angry, you recycle them back. They exist in our desktop. So the Lord is deleting them. So in other words, they are permanently Giti. destroyed. Destroy permanently destroyed. Permanently destroyed. Permanently This thing which is called memory has been infected with a virus that is the memory. In memory. Jehovah, Jehovah has become the hacker of your system. Yes, system the way your system operates, system Jehovah has hacked it because he wants to do something that will never make you go back. Because this is the year of a new era. We are going into glory. We have to leave the past behind there will be nothing that is going to be recycled back to life there will be nothing that is going to be remembered because we are moving forward we are growing bigger we are growing better we are growing broader it's time for us to be fruitful it's time for us to be multiplied to replenish to subdue and to dominate but the devil has been using your memory to put you into depression has been using your memory to make you morose has been using your memory not to pray who am I talking to? You've got an amnesia. Get to me amnesia, man. Of your past. Shame of your past. Sorrows of your past. The lost of your past. When you see those people who have affected you in the past, you will not remember it. They will have to introduce themselves to you. They will have to introduce themselves to you. You will say, who are you? Introduce yourself. The, prob- the matter is, they will even ask you, who are you? Why? They will ask you, who are you? It's because they see you. 
You are fruitful. But the old you was not fruitful, was barren. But who they see now is not like the one they know. Who am I speaking to? Who am I speaking to? I'm about to close. Listen to this. For your creator will be your husband. It's getting me excited. It's getting me excited. I am excited. Your creator, your creator is your husband. Oh my God. What does that mean? Maybe I have to explain what is a husband. What you see out there are the abusers. Those are animals. Those are dogs. Those are wolves. Those are Those are not husbands. They are not fathers. A husband, it's another thing that you need to understand. When God says, your creator is your husband from now on. I want you when you leave this place to understand that your creator is not only your God, he's your husband. Because you have failed to understand that he is your God. Let me explain as he states about himself. He said your husband, your, 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 your creator is your husband. What is a husband? A husband is the one that works to get a wife. A husband is the one that switches and look for someone that he will love. Look for one that he will care for. And look for one that he will be partner with. And look for the one that is going to share the inheritance with. And look for one that is going to enjoy all his sweat. A husband will create a house for a wife. A husband will prepare everything. When a wife comes, she manages what the husband has. <laughs> What we see out there, we see rapists, we see abusers, we see animals that destroy, that rips apart. They are not husbands. A husband is a protector. A husband is a provider. A husband is a leader. A husband is a CEO. Are you getting it? A husband is a one when there is trouble, he goes out. And deals with the trouble. A husband is the one when he is at home. You know there is nothing that is going to touch and harm me. A husband is the 
husband is the one that you are willing to leave your surname and cling to his surname. Today we see people who call themselves husbands. When they divorce their wives, they leave them with their children homeless. They chase their women out of the house and bring girlfriends into the house. Those are not husbands. Those are abusers. A husband is the one who looks for a wife. Who's going to manage with her wisdom and manage the house? Today, the Lord has told me to tell you from now on is your husband. Am I talking to right people? Am I talking to right people? Your creator is your husband. That means he from now on act like a wife live like a wife submit like a wife so that you will get the benefit some of you have been living like a girlfriend Maybe I should leave this uh, thing next week because my time is off. Some of you, some of you, he is a husband, but you've been living like you are a girlfriend. You come and check him. You come and ATM him. And live your life. But but when you are a wife, you know this belongs to me. I will not abuse it and use it. I will manage it. I will multiply. I will incubate it. As a wise woman, I will build my house. I'm not his girlfriend. I am his wife. You, you live like a girlfriend to God. You are crushing it. If you are hungry, you come to cash. Because God is your ATM. So when you treat him like a girlfriend, he's going to treat you like. But when you treat him like your husband, you will get the benefits. So many of us as the church. So many of us in the church. We are cashing. When you are sick, you come to cash. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. You are claiming. You see, when you are a wife, you don't claim. She is a wife. 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 She is a wife.
Please don't live like a girlfriend. I don't have to come and check him, but I reside with him. He hasn't come to check you. You always say, Come, Lord. It is a girlfriend who said so. Come and check him. But the husband leaves you. He just wakes up from here. I'm going to explain to you the other day about the office of the wife so that you won't live like a wife. Father, we are coming close to you. Who's this girlfriend? Come and check me, Lord. I have come to the spots where we meet. Are you child? A husband you live with. In one room. You don't ask him to come and check you. You must tell him that the food is ready. And just give him the name. Yes, I know, my queen. 
Oh. One you have set is, is something that you want. What is it that you want so that I will do it? Thank God, dear. I have finished. Hello, wife. I'm trying to go Say these words after me. Husband, <laughs> I'm sorry. Given an attitude and don't. I have an attitude of a girlfriend. Yet I have to be a wife. Thank you that you have reminded me today. I am residing with you. I'm not cohabiting. I stay with you. From today, I am that I am a wife. And I'm going to live like a wife. I know that all that is in earth it's in our palace I'm going to treat it well whatever that I want to use I'm going to say the queen needs it because indeed it's mine if I want money I can tell whatever it's in and it will give me money because it is the part in the kingdom of my husband you have changed my man today thank you husband thank you my love Thank you, my eternal one. So give me so much benefits in your inheritance that is so big. That is the whole world. Today, I won't beg as a girlfriend, but I'm going to be like a wife. I have received this already. I have decided that already. It's happening. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't be defeated by people who are calling them queens. Actually, they are denoting what the church of Christ should be. From today, you are the queen. You are the queen. You are who? Oyini. You are the queen. Oyin Tofukas. Your husband. Omienu Ako. Owns. O. Everything. Pete Konke. One day I have forgotten my wallet. Puto mange dropen. I was in a hurry. Yet when I ride on a taxi, I check my wallet and it was not with me. I told the driver, there were conductors by that time. I told the conductor that I forgot in my wallet. Do you know what the conductor said? He said, be free, my brother. Be free, my brother. Be free, my brother. A hot man. So what's a cool leg around? He said, be free, my uncle. I went and do what I was going to do when I come back. I met someone. I didn't say that I don't have money. He said, servant of God, he went to an ATM and he brought 1,000 rand and gave it to me. Why? I'm a queen. It's because I'm a queen. My husband is taking care of My me. My husband, we are like a queen. I'm 
By the grace of the Lord, because I will try to talk about it because I want us to live like queens. Don't panic. No, your husband, what he has. He doesn't have millions. He doesn't have billions. He doesn't have trillions. Doesn't have trillions. He has all. The problem is with us. We didn't want to live in a realm of our marriage with him, but we are living in a realm of a girlfriend. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. But you are living in a realm of being a girlfriend. We okay. want to be checked. Just look at them when they are praying. But the Baba say, they said, Father, we invite you. How can you invite your own husband in his palace? The attitude, the attitude makes us to lose. The only thing. In the angel, when the table has been set to dine with my king, then it will be you say, Where should I go? Where should I go? You invite him, yet you are in his presence. You invite him, yet you are in his presence. Do you hear what I'm saying? His presence is all over. He's he's the one who's inviting him. But you are the one who's inviting him. It's where we have lost. Don't say this to other people. They won't understand. I'm saying it to you. Because I know that. Do you want amnesia? You have no you see, husband, makes you to forget that you are coming from a family that is poor. <laughs> it is the people who remind you where you are coming from. Where you live as You know the name claims of that family. You are being reminded by those who have visited you. Your previous sin, but the way you are treated, you do not remember where you are coming from. I think we should remind the church who she is. Is into we even ask the things that are already ours. Do you hear that? The church, it needs about the truth about its relationship with God. I don't become guilty if I depart from my house without praying. Oh, let me go back and pray. Father, I almost forget. I pray while I remember. I'm speaking to my husband. I don't ask a permission in the place to talk to him. Drive and it's of course yes, yes, I'm not While I'm driving, I say, Lord, this song is so nice. Even her voice. You are so good, Baba. Part two is next week. The part two is next to Hello, wifey. Hello, queen.